Hey guys, this is Hayam. I'm half Egyptian, half Filipina, and I lived in the Philippines for eight whole years, eight happy childhood years. Enough about myself. Now we're having a tour of the Philippines in the most exciting places ever. Come on! We'll begin with Banawi rice terraces. Believe it or not, they're man-made. These terraces are carved by Filipinos into the mountains of Banawi Ifugao 2,000 years ago. They're considered the eighth wonder of the world. Then we have the Terrazas de Flores or flower terraces. It's a flower garden in Cebu with flowers arranged on a mountain slope. It has over 120 species of plants and flowers. Next, we have the Boracay Oceanarium. It's a giant aquarium in the basement of the Crown Regency Resort and Convention Center. It contains the longest underwater tunnel in the Philippines, as well as one of the world's largest pearls. The pearl is called the Pearl of the King. Boracay Oceanarium is open to both guests and non-guests at the hotel. It consists of two main sections, the Discovery Tunnel, which I mentioned earlier, and the Ocean Bar, which is a restaurant. There, you can watch the Mermaid Show twice a day. You can also check out other exciting activities, such as the Aquarium Ocean Walk, the Aquarium Scuba Diving, and the Helmet Diving. Don't miss the wave pool with artificial waves and the wave rider in this hotel. This is the 100 Islands National Park in the Northern Philippines. Visiting the 7,641 islands of the Philippines is impossible, so starting with 100 islands is a good start. The park has 124 islands at low tide and 123 at high tide. It covers an area of about 17 square kilometers. There, you can rent a boat and go from one island to the next. Some islands have caves, others have hills, some of them can be even camped on. One island has houses that you can rent. As for the natural attractions, the Philippines is full of wonderful beaches. One of them is Boracay. You can do a lot of water sports there, other than swimming, snorkeling, or scuba diving, as you can see in the video. You can do parao sailing. Parao is a boat with two outriggers and two sails. You can take courses in mermaid swimming. You can also enjoy the water on this kind of boat. You can also enjoy the beaches in Cebu and do some activities as trekking, canyoning, rock climbing, cave exploring, and skydiving. Let's enjoy Puerto Princesa in Palawan. It's an underground river surrounded by a national park. It's the world's second longest subterranean river. It's also one of the seven natural wonders of the world. The Philippines has a lot of falls, volcanoes, and hills as well. Falls such as the Maria Cristina Falls and the Ranak Falls. Did you know that Camigan has more volcanoes than municipalities? It has seven volcanoes and five municipalities. This is something you can only see in the Philippines. Chocolate Hills in Bohol is a wonderful attraction. There are 1,260 hills. Why is it called the Chocolate Hills? It's because the green grass turns brown like chocolate during the dry season. Now, it's time for some historical places. Rizal Park or Luneta Park in Manila is a tribute to Jose Rizal, the Philippine national hero, as he spread the ideals of revolution against Spanish rule. This park is where Rizal is executed by Spanish firing squad. This set of statues depict his execution. The park has the monument of Jose Rizal and an open-air auditorium with a dancing fountain. It also has a relief map of the Philippines, as you can see here, and also a Chinese garden. This is Mactan Shrine in Mactan Island, Cebu. Mactan Island is where the battle between the Spaniards, led by Magellan, and the locals, led by the Muslim hero Lapu-Lapu, took place. This shrine, which is made in honor of Lapu-Lapu, is in the same spot where the battle took place. This is Lapu-Lapu's bronze statue, 
and at the back you can see Magellan's shrine where he was killed during the battle. A very famous attraction in the Philippines is Intramuros, or the walled city of Manila. Intramuros is a Latin word meaning within the walls. The walls of Intramuros are 3 kilometers in length, covering an area of about 160 acres. It has seven fortified gates. Intramuros was built to be the residence for Spanish government officials and their families. The natives and Chinese were not allowed to live inside Intramuros. Within the walls were so many places to visit. So, don't miss a tour of Intramuros. To get around, ride a kalesa or a horse-drawn carriage, a bam bike or a bike made of bamboo, an e-trike, or a pedicab or tricycad as Filipinos call. If you love history and horror, then the Intramuros Ghost Walk is for you. The most famous place in Intramuros tour is Fort Santiago, a fortress built by Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, a Spanish navigator who introduced Christianity to the Philippines. You can find the museum and other interesting places in Fort Santiago, such as this beautiful park. Let's watch together. In this park, you can find the statue of Rizal, whom we talked about earlier. Let's see a museum for a change, but this is no ordinary one. Motag Living Museum is the first interactive museum in the Philippines. It's in a place called Motag in a clan. It aims to preserve the natives' way of life. Here, you'll discover their culture by visiting their homes, cooking rice using traditional tools, there's traditional farming, plowing, harrowing and planting, and also weaving crafts and listening to their folk songs. Let's move to some amusement. Four of the 20 largest shopping malls in the world are located in the Philippines. Our first mall is SM City North Etsa in the Philippines' most populated city, Quezon City. It's the largest mall in the Philippines and the 8th largest mall in the world. It's also the largest solar-powered mall in the world. The mall has a sky dome with 1,500 seats for public events and a breathtaking sky garden. Let's watch! SM Mega Mall in Mandaluyong is the second largest mall in the Philippines and the world's ninth largest mall. Actually, it's the only place I've been to in this video. Here I am, see me? This mall has a bowling alley and a chapel. Actually, all malls in the Philippines have chapels. This incredible mall is SM Seaside City Mall in Cebu. It's the third largest mall in the Philippines and the 11th largest mall in the world. I really love it. It has a 170 meter sky tower. It also has a sky park with a sky play and a water play. You can also find Kidzona and Color Museum where you can take fantastic photos and selfies. The mall has for sure an ice skating rink. It will have an arena with 16,000 seats. It is planned to become a venue for the Philippine Basketball Association. One last mall is Mall of Asia in Pasay. All these malls are owned by SM Prime Holdings. Mall of Asia is the fourth largest mall in the Philippines and the 14th largest mall in the world. It has a convention center and a science discovery center. It has one of the world's biggest 3D screens. It also has an arena with 20,000 seats and, of course, an ice skating rink. Our last stop for today's tour is in Crown Regency Hotel and Towers in Cebu. Wait a minute! I can see that Cebu has most of the attractions we talked about, right? Well, Crown Regency Hotel and Towers is the tallest hotel tower in the Philippines, with 40 stories. It's full of crazy rides. On the 37th floor, 
you can find Skywalk Extreme where you can walk around the exterior of the building. On the 38th floor, there is the world's only edge coaster. It's a two-seat rail coaster that goes around the edge of the building. On the same floor is the Sky Observatory with coin-operated telescopes. The hotel tower has also a 6D cinema and Paramount Climbing where you can climb a 9.7 meter wall. There is also a shooting range. Melvin's Reef is a mini golf area with an aquatic theme. You can enjoy your time at Fabulous 50s Cafe, a bar and restaurant with a 1950s theme. You can even find the Cadillac hanging on the ceiling. There is also a zip line which zips you between two buildings in about 8 seconds. You can also drink non-alcoholic drinks at Sky Bar while watching the sky. Extending from the 40th floor is the Insanity Orbit, which is really full of insanity as it spins passengers at up to 3 Gs. It's the second ride of its kind in the world. Well, the tour is over, but videos about the Philippines ain't. I hope this video is exciting as well as informative. Tell me in a comment which place you liked best. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya!